Okay, everyone, this is Destro, getting back to uh, XCOM and uh, informing you that <coughs> if the audio on this one seems a little bit off, that's because, well, it is. <laughs> um, at the time that I recorded this, I had plugged my webcam back in, and I didn't realize that it was trying to record from the microphone on that, which is significantly worse than the microphone that uh, I normally use for recording. Windows 7 had <coughs> automatically moved the recording device to the webcam the for morning, whatever man. reason. We're always glad to have more help down here. The end result of that well, is that I, I have to come back in well, and re-record all the audio <coughs> that twisted hulk of flesh and metal over top of the, the uh, video later on in post-production. Which we have to keep moving forward with the project, but well, let's just say that uh, re-recording like an hour of stuff. I'm never going to remember everything that I originally said. So, are we just part of a? What we're getting this time is a little bit more of a. Um, we have multiple reports of new abductions. After the fact, commentations are marked on the holodeck. Shall we say? And. uh... Oh yeah, okay, this is the one where I decided that I pretty much had to go to London. Because, well, look at, look at the panic bar there. If I, if I left that alone, it was just going to, um, they were going to panic. That wasn't going to be good news for anybody. So I had to go there, and well, uh, you know, it would get me a little bit of money too, and money's always good. Um, this is me checking to make sure <laughs> I actually have, um... <coughs> everyone set up. Um, you'll notice that I have two heavies and two supports, and I don't think I actually have anyone else at this point in time. I think, like, all of my snipers are dead and the assault is wounded, so... I'm kinda stuck with uh, heavies and supports for this mission. Yeah, this is where I check and realize that, yeah, everyone's dead! Everyone's dead except the heavies and the supports. So, um, I think I decided to actually bring along a rookie for this one. Yeah, okay, I decided to bring along a rookie on this one. Get uh, someone else trained up. Which turned out to be a fairly decent plan. Not a lot else to say about this one. <coughs> but here they go. Off into London for the abduction mission. It's raining, surprise, surprise. Prepare for deployment strike one. And the this map site is, in the is UK. actually um, just ba it's it's basically one big long street as I realized very, very shortly. You can see it's raining, the water is running down the street. Central, big sky in position on approach of the abduction site. And Strike I was trying to be a little bit more careful with this one because Strike I keep having people die. Uh, and that's well there, disadvantageous to continuing the game. If everyone dies, then well that's that's game over, right? So um, I did try to be a little bit more careful here. Um, put people in, you know, full cover where possible and move up people a little bit more slowly, a little bit more time to um, react, and quite a bit more <laughs> use of Overwatch. And as you'll see, it's sort of made off, I guess. Yeah, I was looking for other cover for him, but there wasn't any without dashing, so... Actually, that one might be her. I can't tell. I think that's a him. Anyways. Um, dashing is something you don't really want to do if you can avoid it. Uh, as has been pointed out to me. <laughs> by more than a few people. But, uh... I was trying to be a little more careful on this, this mission, and, uh... 
put everyone in better cover and not move everyone up so far. You see right up, uh, right up there. I could have put him behind that car. I decided I'd rather put him behind this one, I think, where there's a little better cover for him to use. Oh, did I... Okay, no, I, I did decide on that car. You see what I mean? I'm never going to remember what's going on here. There's a sectoid up there, and I'm not actually sure why it didn't do the, uh, the animation for him appearing like it normally does, but it didn't this time whatever reason, so I was actually able to take him out pretty easily. I think it was Amber here that got the kill on him. Yeah. Yeah, Amber was the one who got the kill on him. Those blue things, by the way, are the hollow target ability that I picked up for her. Makes it easier for anyone else to shoot at what she shot at. Which is absolutely invaluable later on, I can tell you. But right now, it's it's kind of a, uh, well, it didn't matter on that sectoid, because the sectoid died. And yeah, once again, I pick the absolute best cover available that's slightly further up. So he ends up behind the uh, stop there. And, if I uh, remember rightly... Uh, okay, no, nothing shows up just yet. I think it's, um, it's after I move the next person that more things show up. Everything goes a little bit pear-shaped. Oh yeah, this. This is a poor decision. Because that's, that's the back of the map, right here, you can see. But there is still plenty of room down the other end for things to show up. And sure enough... Well, if you're flanking, you don't get cover. And of course, they failed to take up the second page in the car there. Missed entirely. And he misses too. And I think she misses as well, actually. Yep. There it is. So, <laughs> nobody can hit the sectoid. Everyone's a terrible shot. And the sectoid decides that, oh look, there's a flanked soldier down there. Perfect chance to take a pot shot. Fortunately, it's only two damage. It's just a sectoid with a plasma pistol. No big deal. But um, it does mean that that soldier is wounded. I, you know, the uh, body armor only use, adds um, plus one health, I think. Oh, yes. Then, this is the point at which I go, oh, crap, I've triggered everything. There's three floaters in that truck. It's just bad news. <laughs> horrible, horrible news. But, um, fortunately as you can see here. That rocket um, does actually stretch just far uh, enough to um, hit the last one there. So I was able to take out all three floaters with one rocket shot. Bonus! Uh, this considerably reduced the amount of incoming fire I would have to deal with because all of those floaters have plasma rifle, light plasma rifles, I think. Um, and would otherwise have happily shot my my uh, squad here to pieces. Take out the sectoid there. See, I missed. But thanks to hollow targeting. Yeah, yeah, this guy can't quite see the sectoid. I have to move him up first. Thanks to hollow targeting, he can now see the sectoid. And he's now got a 65% chance to hit instead of a 55 chance, which pays off. Unfortunately, there's still two sectoids over there, and I only have about a 33% chance to hit both of them. So, um, Overwatch it is for him. As it turns out, I only get shot at by one of the sectoids, I think. 
Yeah, because that one boosts the other one. Then... He takes a shot at me. And fortunately misses. He did set that car on fire, though, so I have to move everyone away from that car, because that car is going to explode. And this is where I make um, what is best referred to as a tactical error. <laughs> on the one hand, good cover. I can get a good shot at the sector. On the other, thin men! Thin men everywhere. And uh, they're pretty much just bad news. Nobody likes Thin Men. See, I've got a 53% chance to hit him and a 73% chance to hit the Sectoid. So I take the Sectoid. Fortunately, I hit it. Which takes out two, two for one. My favorite two for one deal there with the Sectoids. And then it's time to run everyone away from the burning car. A little bit of trouble here deciding where to go. But the post box is actually far enough away. And I think I just sent this guy over behind that other car there. Yeah. Three thin men. One of them's back there. Behind the truck. I can't see him. But I will have cover from all them all um, hiding behind this car here. I think I'm actually able to. Sh I think uh, she actually shoots one. 47. Oh no, I, I'm pretty sure I held off with the 47% chance. Yeah. Yeah. Get the uh, get the person with uh, hollow targeting to shoot first, or I could have if I'd remembered to reload her earlier. So, as it turns out, I can't get the shot off. I only get three shots with the heavy weapons before I have to reload them. And it's up to um, Moon Called over here. Frag grenade won't reach, of course. But, the 47% chance did pay off. I did actually hit the Thin Man there. And then the car blew up. We all knew that was coming. Fortunately, this time I managed to... Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Alien animations. Never good news. Of course, Moon panics. The other thin man runs into the bus shelter, which is a bad idea because it lets me know where he is. At which point I decide that, well... I don't like thin men. Kaboom! Dead Thin Man, exploded cover, exploded car. And uh, I dash that guy up there. And here comes the other Thin Man, out from behind the uh, truck, somehow. Ah, that's right, he poisoned me instead of shooting, for which we can all be thankful. Unfortunately, <laughs> the rookie panicked. And, of course, missed with his fire. Fortunately, however, Amber was now reloaded. So uh, I couldn't send her running over there. She would go right through the poison. That would have been bad. Uh, running through poison lowers your aim. So, really, the only option was to send her uh, kind of up behind, up beside the benches there. Although I did send Moon first. Yeah, up beside the benches. And once again, the frag grenade just out of range. The only explosive I have left is that frag grenade right now.
spot. Shot wide. Oh yes, this is I think this is the point at which I realized that she only has one shot left, so. Thin Man takes another shot. Severely wounds her. Doesn't kill her, uh, fortunately. Oh, no, sorry, that's uh, that's him. Thought he was shooting at Amber for a second there. Nope, he took out Moon. He took out uh, Moon with the grenade. Which means that, of course, <laughs> it's up to Amber and the Rookie to kill the last Thin Man before uh, Moon bleeds out. And fortunately, Amber managed to hit there because uh, I could never have uh, counted on the Rookie being able to do enough damage to actually kill the Thin Man. I did lose one guy there, that was a little bit unfortunate. Sorry about that, uh, Zergling. You'll be reincarnated later, I'm sure. Yep, everyone got promotions except the dead guy. And I picked up Shredder Rocket for uh, Amber. Bullet Swarm for Moon. And Rookie Williams get promoted to replace the support that just died. He's wounded, of course. They're all wounded. Everyone's wounded. Wounded or dead or a rookie. We're not in especially good shape right now. <laughs> Fortunately, we did get some more money. We will be in touch, Commander. And more money allows us to build more facilities. In this case, I build uh, the Officer Training School, finally. That'll be uh, handy later. And then I realize that I no longer have enough uh, power to build anything. Not even the access lift. So I have to put a generator into my one remaining space. I would have liked to put the generator under the other generator, but uh, I just don't have enough power to do it, so it has to go here. And then it's back to waiting for satellites to finish building. Although I did hire one more soldier. As the alien attacks have become more frequent, our casualty rate has climbed. Our troop shortage is uh, becoming a problem. Yeah, Bradford is actually right here for once. <laughs> we don't have enough guys. And we were only able to afford to hire one more. But we've got a satellite uplink, so now we'll be able to launch more satellites. Um, once we have more satellites to launch. And, of course, somewhere good to put them. At this point, I believe I, uh, I checked to see where was a good, uh, good place to put satellites. Um, we have lots of panic all over the place. Everyone's panicking. But um, I didn't launch a satellite just yet. I, uh, I wanted to hold off a little bit and kind of uh, wait and see if... Um, you know, a better place to launch it would kind of show up. You can kind of hear me talking in the background there. That was the original recording, but it happened way, way too quietly for uh, YouTube quality, so that's no good. In any case, I finished my research. I can now build the foundry once I have space and power for it. And uh, everything else is going to take way, way too long to, uh, to actually research. So I just went with the floater interrogation for now. The 
you get this little video um, every time you do an interrogation. It's a different video for a different alien, so... I believe that's where I cut the video for now, and I'll see you in a minute. <laughs>